What's going on guys? It's Eddie Martinez here with The Recording Connection and welcome to your supplemental video for lesson one. In today's video we're going to be covering sound and hearing. So let's get started. Sound, as you may already know, is an oscillation of pressure transmitted to a solid, liquid, or gas that's composed of frequencies within the range of hearing and of a level sufficiently strong enough to be heard. Now, in easier words, what this means is that sound is any frequency caused by vibrations that can be heard by humans, animals, or any device that can pick up those frequencies. So let's go ahead and talk about what we use to pick up these frequencies, our ears. Now, our hearing capabilities is actually limited. It's limited to the frequencies of between about 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Uh, 20 hertz being what we associate with hearing low, low frequencies like bass sounds and 20,000 hertz being high pitch sounds. Okay, so here's a diagram that's going to help you understand the anatomy and functionality of the human ear. Sounds are collected by the outer ear and guided into the ear canal, where it reaches the eardrum and the middle ear. Three tiny bones are located here. The hammer, the anvil, and the stirrup. Right here, sounds are amplified before reaching the inner ear and the cochlea. The cochlea contains a small amount of fluid which moves tiny hair cells which convert those sound waves into electrical impulses. Okay guys, so the best level for playing back a sound is actually between 81 decibels and 95 decibels. But it's always a good idea to go ahead and keep your sound mix a little bit lower than that to protect your hearing. I would normally say between 81 and 85 decibels usually is uh, something that's sufficient. And here's a really great tip. Just to let you know, ears can get tired if you overwork them. So if you're mixing music, take breaks. This will allow you to give your ears enough time to recover and also help you prevent against hearing damage. So this has been Eddie Martinez with The Recording Connection, and here's just one more tip before I let you go. Uh, don't forget to check out Music Is My Oxygen for more of those things that you love about music. Catch you guys on the next video.